uh, right on. for school or a job or whatever it was. Um, but regardless, he's here for a little bit. And, all I know uh, is that he, he looks he's hungry. He's all, hungry for the win. Yeah, and I, I, the only thing I know about Crazy Colors is that he looks remarkably like a very youthful Steve Aoki. So, like, that's Josh the, agrees with you. That's I think, the extent. extent. That's yeah. the extent of, of what yeah. I know about Crazy Colors, other than he's a Rosamane and he kind of looks like Steve Aoki. So you, is that is that an anime reference or no? Who is that? Steve Aoki is a oh, dubstep a artist. Oh yeah, he's <laughs> definitely he, out of my field. He's, he's the dude that you might have seen him like on like uh, like MTV's um, Ridiculousness. He was a guest on there. But anyway, he does this thing where people will bring cakes to okay. him and he'll throw the cake at his fans and they love it. And he yes. also does the thing where people will bring inflatable pools and they'll crowd surf on the inflatable pools. Huh. And, then, and he calls it white raver rafting, <laughs> which is so great. So oh hopefully goodness. Crazy Colors is as great as Steve Aoki. I just lost my pen. Oh, boy. There it is. I'll cover for you. Thanks, uh, buddy. D-Money. Oh, yeah. Rosalina Bowser Jr. matchup. Oh, dude, I don't know what to say about this. When's the last time you've seen this matchup? Um, I have it. Tweak versus the Buzz oh, is probably what? the last time I've seen it. Yeah, I guess so. Um, so Night Modi. Did they play? I, I don't, don't think, think they I've played seen, last ever seen Night play Modi. No, I don't think Mo so. No, no, no. I'll have to ask Modi and or Night yeah. when I see them at Endgame. Mm -hmm. Regardless, um, this matchup, okay, so I think the thing about this matchup is that D-Money is going to have to be, like, his... Bowser Jr. gets crazy follow-ups. Yes. Like, he gets a lot of cool follow-ups um, off of Dare, off of, um, like, Clown Car stuff. Who, uh, yeah, just side in, B, yep. In general, um, has a lot of stuff. I think Luma might spell the difference, because unless he's hitting Luma too, Luma could interrupt a right, lot of yeah. that. He could just come in, gun... Uh, <laughs> Luma's, Le Luma's Revenge is what I call yeah. it. Yeah. Could like, uh, interrupt pretty much any combo. I call it Black Ops Luma. Black Ops Luma, because he's going in solo. Mm -hmm. Trying to save, you know, coming in from from you know underneath and behind. Right, um, trying to <laughs> save the the refugee. <laughs> exactly. Um, the other thing, though, is that I would say that D Money is probably, and I've said this other places. I think that D Money might be the best edge guarder in Wisconsin. Really? I think he might yeah. have the best edge guard game in Wisconsin because he studied Tweak's edge guarding ability like mad. Like this guy is uh, is. Like, he watches every YouTube video that Tweak has ever put out. Any, any Bowser Jr. player has ever put out. And so this guy is just it, it downloads it into his brain. And because Rosalina has no hitboxes yeah. on her recovery, I would expect that if Bowser Jr. can get Rosalina off stage, that we're going to see a lot of early kills because of D-Money's edgeguarding ability. Ah, here's what I think. I don't think Crazy Color is ready for Bowser Jr. shenanigans. There's a lot of things you need to learn about the matchup that makes it much easier. However, um, but if you don't know those, you will get destroyed. This is the best of five set. This so he is. has time he has to learn time. them. He's got this at least true. two, at least three, like two and a half games to learn Bowser Jr. shenanigans and, and do stuff about them. So the question is, here's my question. Will he respect the up B from oh Bowser my Jr.? Gosh. So because yeah. if he doesn't, he will get absolutely destroyed Here, on stage. Here's the secret um, of what never ever to do against Bowser Jr. Also, never do neutral get up at the ledge. No, Bowser that's Jr. another will thing. will ruin yeah, your exactly. world if you do neutral get up at the ledge against him. So. I don't know what kind of Bowser Jr. presence oh. is in Ohio, and I don't know what kind of practice Crazy Colors has on him. He's definitely evened it up and actually taking the lead right now, but, that, you know, D-Money hasn't really had a chance so, so far to, to really play to his strengths. Uh, Crazy Colors has been playing very yeah. well. I've been seeing a lack of clown car, but yeah. maybe that, that's intentional, you know? Oh, oh that was wow. a great bait, mate. Wow, Luma, <laughs> Luma slowed down the hitbox, too. Yeah, no, I think I think it extended as well, you know. Like well, that's what I, I guess that's what I meant. Yeah. When it slowed down the hitbox, wow. it, it made it last longer. There it is. And uh, D Money taking the first stock there. That that's definitely going to shake up Crazy Colors World. I don't mm. think he expected to be down behind this early in game no, one. No, certainly not. Not after. Oh. Wow, but Luma says I don't really care about all that other stuff. I'm only going to say this once. Get yeah. out of here. Yeah. So Luma money. off the table now, though. This is where D-Money needs quick. to make his exactly. living. There's a lot he can definitely do here with Lumagon. Um, just one hit, and he can definitely combo probably about to 56% or so. Um, but Rosa Luma using that gravity grenade just to pull that uh, shoot with the, the, the Koopa toy back right on d uh, face. Koopa. Mecha Koopa right yeah, back on Koopa. face. Now, that's actually something that's kind of interesting, though, is that um, I don't think 
I think Mech Koopa is one of the projectiles that um, does not get like absorbed. I think it stays as a hit, an active hitbox. So, right. I think it still works yeah, for about. Yeah, yeah. I think that's how it works. It kind of, it kind of, it's like the uh, change of fates or whatever the Yu-Gi-Oh cards is, where it goes to the other side. Yeah, change of heart. Change of hearts. That's kind of what happens. Oh, that was this is opportunity to oh, make something. Oh, did you know he happen. was he was trying to do something oh. crazy there because he threw that Mecha Koopa mm -hmm. up and he was trying to back throw Rosalina into the Mecha Koopa but the, to continue the, platform, the combo. The platform that was about that to be out. crazy. Yeah. That would have been hype. That would have been replay worthy. Well, Luma is back now, so a little bit of a difficult position here, despite oh. how heavy Bowser Jr. is. He does 107%. take 0.8 knockback when he gets hit in the clown car, though, mm -hmm. so that might have saved him a little bit there. Possibly. So, uh-oh, rolls up. Gets He's in between the, Luma and... Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, uh, I've played against Crazy Colors a lot. Def he definitely has the option coverage uh, on ledge. He knows exactly what to do in every situation. Uh, which is a little bit easier to do with that character, but uh, but yeah. yeah. Oh, oh D-Money coming in with Bowser Jr. Oh, but Luma wow. in the bushes. Revenge of Luma gave it out of nowhere. D-Money did not see that coming. Now, I don't think either oh, of these Oh, up smash. And that'll do wow. it. Wow. D-Money from Wisconsin taking down Crazy Colors in game one. That's game a one, huge yeah. get for D-Money mm -hmm. to take game one. That means he has stage oh. counter pick control even if right. he loses game two. That means, you know, he only has to win two more. Oh, that's, that's huge for D-Money. It's going to be a little bit tougher because Crazy Color is going to be uh, learning the matchup as he goes, yeah. I believe. But um, I will say, D Money has a lot. He has a deep bag of tricks. He does. Like Absolutely. it is, like it is like when you see one of those magicians' trunks. Like they, they pull it on stage before they all their tricks are set. Like he can just keep going into that trunk over and over again for a brand new trick every time. I think they're going to go. Uh, I think he might actually choose back to battlefield, but Even, if he doesn't choose back to battlefield, I expect D Money to be using his Koopa car a lot more, canceling out a lot more in the neutral, baiting mm -hmm. some, uh, you know, probably some dash attacks, and that's exactly where uh, D Money exceeds, baiting out approaches with his cancelable side B. Mm -hmm. And well, here we are at Dreamland, where D Money definitely has a lot more room to roam. He de uh, this is one of his favorite stages by far. True, yeah, it, it's it's a large stage with a lot of area to move around. However, it does have a little bit lower ceiling, which is going to help out Rosalina with her up air's ability because D Money, you know, even though he won that game one, did spend quite a bit of time above Rosalina's face, um, and uh, he can sometimes have trouble landing. So we're going to have to see if Crazy Colors take advantage of the amount of time that Bowser Jr. spent above her. Here we are, D Money already racking up 43% based on uh, some of those crazy combos we just saw a moment ago. And getting rid of Luma. Yeah, exactly. Um, you saw that Luma wasn't really in position to interrupt any of the combos, and D-Money really took advantage of that. Um, he, he has a lot of uh, multi-hit moves as well, and that's really going to put uh, Luma on blast. Kind of just stuck there and hit stun. Oh, oh and, get, and, and that's actually something that's really interesting. Is like I mentioned in pregame here that D-Money is actually a really good edge guarder, but he let Rosalina kind of come back Ooh. for free. And there's the Modi special side B Koopa yeah. car into up B, up B. Beautiful stuff by D Money there. Um, I was uh, to finish my thought real fast. Is he? Oh. Is he kind of let? He kind of let um, Crazy Colors come back for free because he wanted to take the chance to get rid of Luma when she made her way back up, which is really really smart. Now, unfortunately, hey, he got dared into the oblivion. I gotta talk there. about that. It's a soft but deadly spite. But oh my goodness, jab block there by D Money. Not getting too much extra. But man, he, I think he got his nerves shaking just a little bit after that. Because he was at low percent. Spike. Like yeah. that's like that's tough. Definitely a change of momentum right after that uh, stock was taken. Sure, right, Luma gone again. This is where D-Money's been doing really well, building damage. Look how aggressive he is right now. He's going to just be, like, covering all the options. Being There's a little some, patient right now. Some of those uh, Koopa Kong car, like, cancels and, and stops and stuff that you were talking about. Now, that's something that's wow. really interesting about Bowser Jr. is that if you hit with there, it cancels. Right. So he's able to follow up with it. So that's why you see him do it into shield a lot is because a lot of people will drop shield before it ends, and then he can follow up directly after that. Oh, my goodness. And there is Crazy Colors not respecting the up B uh, free fall that was once one of, again. That was one of your key points was uh -huh. that, that Crazy Colors is absolutely going to have to respect that, and he just did not. And he is not, and he's paying for it. That's what yes. lost in the first knock. I could lose in this one. D-Money doing a decent job of actually being able to land. That, that's that's something definitely difficult to do as uh, Bowser Jr. is Ooh. landing against Rosalina. That was a little off. dangerous, though. He, he, he Crazy Colors kind of baited that one out and was able to get a punish, punish off of it. Oh, just able to snap the I'll ledge, smash, but though. that could be it. Oh, Luma not taking the Wheaties today. No. Just surviving off the top. Good stuff by D-Money. All right. Now Here's some try. neutral. This is like the first real yeah. neutral we've seen with uh, Luma out so far. Oh, oh wow. that went through Luma. Okay, that's interesting. 
But Luma is dead now due to that meaty back air. All right, so that means up smash isn't off the table, but it's no. definitely less deadly. Also, up air less deadly. Oh, oh that's the second time he's done that, though. Crazy Spaced color scouted. It got it scouted. There up it smash. is. The up smash and right next it. to him. Game two, 2D money. Crazy Color is going to have to figure something out if he wants to bring this back. Wisconsin is popping off for yeah. the boy. Yeah. Whoo. He's on fire right yeah. now, dude. D-Money is feeling himself. Oh, look, hot look, here. Look, look at that. He's, he's about to go Super Saiyan. Dude, that's what he does. I Facebook, know. He goes Super Saiyan. Why, why do you think I made that reference? Because I know I he's going to listen to this back and he's going to be like, yes. I want to see the pop-off be just him like ripping his shirt dude, off Dude, if, if he wins this tournament... And he like and he pops off mm -hmm. like I'm just expecting him to just pff, yeah, like just like straight Hulk Hogan. Oh my goodness! Well, Crazy Colors sitting there trying to think about how to change his game. I think he's adapted to a certain extent. I saw him space like kind of bait out a uh, upbeat two hammer. Yeah, he, he kind of he, he did he, that twice. He retracted a little bit, waited for it to happen. Wasn't actually able to get anything off it, but he's definitely done a decent job of avoiding that specific yeah. trick. He, um, you know? he he did that twice uh, towards the end of the game there and, and had he unfort like had he been able to know where that hammer comes out, like I just think that's an unfamiliar match matchup, but all he had to do is really run up up smash. Right. Like that right. like he he has enough lag time from him landing and getting his con car back that he could have punished that and so he knows how to avoid the tricks but punishing those tricks is what he's so far lacking. Exactly. And unfortunately this is he's back to the wall here right now. Yeah. Um, look at he, look at this meditation right now. Yeah, I mean, he is really absorbing all the information. Oh my about god, that's the first adorable! I didn't see that. Oh, the Rosalina the, Luma plushie. Oh, that's adorable. God. Dude, all right. We got to get D Money a Bowser Jr. plushie. Dude, we that's so do. That's what we have to do. You know, what we should do is get him like a Morton plushie, just because <laughs> <laughs> just to screw with him. But no. Um, yeah, if he wins, dude, we should we should all chip in and buy him a Bowser yeah. Jr. plush. Well, he he'll have enough money after this to, yeah, to right. buy his own. You know. Wow, what is this? Wow, okay. Crazy Color's saying, hey, I'm done with the games. You have to approach me now. now See I, how you like it. I wonder if he kind of went like to buzz there a little bit and like check. Because I saw him looking at his phone a little bit. Maybe he was looking up strategies to fight against Bowser Jr. And one of them is do not approach Bowser Jr. Yeah, that's true. And, and we saw at the beginning of that match, 20 seconds went by and they did nothing. No. It was just kind of a standoff. But, uh,. <laughs> D Money trying to figure out how to approach with that like, that, that silly Luma bodyguard, you know, kind of standing yeah. in, in his way from victory. L right Luma there. is is exactly that. It's just a, a bodyguard that is small in stature but high. It's like having like Jason Statham as your bodyguard. Not yeah. an overly huge dude, mm -hmm. but he's gonna mess you up if you're not careful. Only only the Lumas are are, are also kind of like. Uh, Lackeys and that they're not they're expendable, not afraid yeah. to die. So that's why I said Jason, go Jason Statham was in the Expendables. Oh, <laughs> but he did. Did he die? I don't know. Oh, I don't. No, he did. He did not. He was. Uh, I actually watched him on it too, but that's beside the point. <laughs> We're getting a little off track here, guys. We are back on the match right now. We are on Dreamland. We got DTD in the background saying hi, and uh, right now Luma's trying to say hi with an up smash and try and knock out this stock from Bowser Jr. 115, 117 percent right now uh, from D Money. As beefy as a character he is, I think maybe like seventh most heavy character in the game. Uh, it's not uh -oh. going to take much more from Crazy Colors to take this first stock. And I don't think Luma hit that one, so that's the only reason that he's still living right. is because Luma didn't have a, a say in that one. Oh, God. Is he going to come on stage? No, he's actually going to snap the leg. Smartly. Yeah, a lot of times D-Money does like to slide back on the stage and see if he can get a sneaky hammer out. But uh, I would recommend definitely snapping the leg uh -oh. right now. Where is he going? Oh, my God. That was... The mix-up. That's a new one. And now he has stage position. <laughs> Oh, but Luma interrupts the side B with a jab. And Luma finishes off with wow. another jab. Good stuff from Luma there. Yeah. Um, and uh, for the first time in this set, uh, Crazy Color's taking the first stock. So that, that's going to see if, if, you know, only 60% too. So we'll, we'll see if he can carry that momentum and maybe take this game three. But it's a lot of game left to play yet. And D Money just getting these close hits, but. Rosalina coming in just enough to prevent the hits from happening. Because there are, there are a lot of startup frames to uh, Bowser Jr.'s moves, you know? So yeah. if, if you can get in his grills, so to speak, uh -oh. prevent them from happening. Forward smash only takes care Ooh. of Luma. That was, a weird, that was a weird clank right there. Got Rosa pushed mm. against the wall right now, but unfortunately not able to capitalize. And now mm. Rosa is underneath Bowser Jr., which is where you do not want to be exactly. against the tall princess. 
Looks like uh, Chris Culley's got a little bit of D Money's money, uh, number right now. Yeah. Not falling for any of his shenanigans anymore. Keep in mind, though, that uh, you know even if D Money were to lose this one, he's got stage counter pick he and does. two games to give. So I'm sure he can figure out something going forward. But right now, it seems Crazy Colors has this one in control. Yeah. Are we going to see a recovery? No. I I don't know if he. I think. Can he only side B once? I think so. Ah, so that's what happened there. He definitely lost his side B, lost his second jump. Kind of put in an uh, impossible situation to recover there. D-Money's going to shake that one off, though, I believe. And that um, was a two-stock. That was a two-stock. So we had a 2-0 you know, in games and then a two-stock immediately after, which is not something you often see. Oh, by the way, guys, have you ever seen me looking down? I'm taking notes. Ah, that's, that's why. why. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> People have tweeted me, and he's like, hey, why are you always looking down when the commentator camera goes on you? I'm like, well, I don't mean to, right, but right. I'm, I'm keeping track of this match so that I can make amazing references for you guys. <laughs> now we're on Town and City, wow. which is D Money's counter pick and uh, definitely where he wanted to go, clearly, because he wasted no time selecting this right. stage. He says, I don't care about your rings of death. I got my claws of death right here, you know? Yeah, right? I got the clown car, and everything that it does will kill you off of this very small stage compared to all the other ones. Oh, wow. D-Money already, you know, like, maintaining stage control for the first 30 seconds of the match. Yep. It went for a forward smash there, and now has led to a little bit of a roll, roll reversal here. I don't uh, think a single forward smash worked in uh, Game 3. No, I... for a lot of them. I think like, the know? only time it was successful was getting rid of Luma. It didn't actually hit Rosalina any time. So maybe, hopefully, he's going to see uh, the air of his ways. Oh, oh, that one will work, that though. Work. Catching him off guard. Rosalina. And, and man, you don't want to be pinched between those two. No. Those will mess you up pretty quick. That is that is the epitome of rocking a hard place yeah. right there. That will mess you up as my boy Big Rig said. It's such a brutal animation. It's a straight up drill. Yeah. You've seen you, you know? I don't want to be caught between that in real life. Ooh. All right, so D-Money now with a pretty substantial lead here, 84% and a relatively heavy character. Rosalina's going to have to either get a, a janky up air kill off the top, as she is wants to do, um, or build more damage without taking any of her own right. here. There's that down smash. Down smash is such a not fun move to deal with if you're trying to get in, because you hit Rosalina Luma's shield, and then immediately you get hit by a down smash. It's like, right. well, what do I do? That, that comes out so quickly. I cover so much after I land. Oh, wow. Good job by D-Money. Uh, recovering a little bit higher to prevent being spiked by the rings of death. Yeah, he went he went high, and then not only did he go high, um, but then he fast fell so exactly. that he would not have to worry about Rosa doing anything. So that, again, just really unique recovery here. D-Money, again, so good off stage. We haven't really seen it on display thus far because he's respecting Rosalina. Um, doesn't want to lose a, a stock early yeah. like he did in game two, but fortunately he uh, respected Rosalina the entirety of the time when Luma was gone, and that basically gave Crazy Colors a free respawn time. Um, uh oh, I would want to see up a tilt. Rare move that you see there. Yeah, Bowser Jr. living though. He's got a lot of coverage though. Oh, Destroyed. He's gonna go. Oh, yep. Crazy Color finally is able to catch him off of the up B. Um, double double tap. Not gonna really work in D Money's favor there. All right, but 43%, 54, excuse me now. Oh, oh he can he angle it down. Wow. No ledge snap, but Rosalina That's Luna is barely alive. And that is the first time he's actually even made it known that it could oh. be angled. Like, That's he didn't do that the me. entire time. So, yeah. really smart there. Again, he just has an infinite bag of tricks, yeah, it seems. He, he always has something new to try. D-Magician, now yeah. I'm going to call him. <laughs> Oh, wow. No, again, not respecting that up B. Uh -oh. And that was and a bad recovery, and that will be it. D-Money takes it 3-1 over Crazy Colors. Congratulations to D-Money. He's moving on to winners. Finals. Winners finals. Wow. That's not something I expect to be saying. Who are you playing? Oh, yeah. Now we're going to be seeing that. Pow Pow and Fawn. Oh, wow. This is a Titanic 